Good uh, day, gents. Uh, welcome to the P induction course. And we are starting our lecture from uh, the next main training objectives. First of all, we are going to do briefing. Uh, during the briefing, of course, uh, the plan is uh, to conduct the delegated registration and uh, to discuss the safety matters. And uh, during the safety matters session, uh, of course, I will uh, show you our evacuation plan, the copy of which available at the exit from the training room. Also, we are going uh, to highlight the schedule for today. And, uh, of course, we need to make uh, the statements about objectives of the induction course. Then, uh, first hour and uh, maybe first to hour and then a half. Uh, the subject of our focus will be the Nautical Institute DPO Training Scheme with uh, main details connected with offshore training of the Nautical Institute DPO Training Scheme. Expected also to make small introduction about uh, DP history and of course we need to make the main course of the training today establishing the objectives of a dynamic positioning system and the long session expected about DP application uh, on different type of vessels highlighting uh, their specific type operations when DP is in use. Our training schedule consists from five working days. We have uh, activities from 940 till 1700 with meal break from 1210 till 10 past 1. Our training center does not provide uh, the meal to our trainees. Normally, each one hour and a half, we will have a small as 10-15 minutes, a coffee or smoking break. So pay attention to the schedule, uh, which provided on the screen, and copy of the schedule all of you have in your electronical handout materials connected with our course. Gentlemen, next what we are uh, discussing are the safety matters in our training center. So pay attention on this uh, vital information and bear in mind all our safety precautions. The emergency alarm in our training center is a continuous sounding of two-tone alarm, and if there is an incident, the whole evacuation alarm will sound. In the event of an evacuation, please follow the lecturer who will lead you to the safety area. Should you discover or suspect that the fire may have started at any time in the training center, activate one of the alarm points or inform a watchman immediately. We have alarm push buttons in the corridors uh, placed on the wall. First aid facilities are available in the training center and should you suffer an accident or become unwell while attending the course. Please advise the lecturer immediately. Smoking is not allowed in our training center, but there is a designated smoking area in our car courtyard. Uh, this is located uh, in our internal yard on the road to the toilet. There we have uh, two benches and coffee machine so you can take a cigarette and drink coffee in that area only 
smokers are requested to dispose of their smoking materials in the receptacle provided, or in other words, uh, keep your beads inside the ash trays or metal dustbins. Please ensure that you safeguard all personal belongings while attending the course and do not keep the valuable items without your supervision and uh, wallets, mobile phones, any other expensive items, please keep them with you. And guys, uh, let me introduce you our uh, next uh, formal part, which is known as evacuation plan, or we call it escape way. Gents, the copy of that escape way is uh, placed near the exit from our training room. Pay attention on that. And in case of evacuation, you easily may take it with you to find the right route. We are in room 003. When you open the door, going out from the training room, please turn to your left and proceed to the end of the corridor. Here you will meet stairs. Follow the stairs till the first floor and uh, there you have to meet the, our security office, keeping it from the right side when passing out. Then by stairs you go down, away from the security office area and there you will meet the main entrance exit to our training institution. Go out from the building of the training center and the meeting point is near main entrance at the street. In case of emergency, gents, uh, we will try to make the call list and all of you must be near main entrance to the building. Otherwise, we have to initiate the search and rescue procedures uh, looking for the missing uh, students. Okay, gents, as you see, uh, minimum entry requirements uh, is the next question what we have uh, to discuss. Which conditions trainee should uh, meet before to attend the DP course? Here we have a very simple answer. From year 2015, only STCW Marine has a right to attend the DP courses. And those who are going to receive the Marine qualification, who we know as cadets, uh, those are also allowed to take only the DP induction course and the first 60 days of coining experience. The simulator course and the ending experience of the training program they are not allowed to take. So, uh, who is interested about regulations, you may record each chapter of STCW is in use to assess the mariners before to accept them to the courses. So gentlemen, uh, we are continuing with our uh, subject and uh, before we start up uh, some theory items, uh, we will keep in focus as I promised uh, before the NI offshore training scheme. Uh, I will not give you the full details about all the available training scheme from Nautical Institute. That information uh, is uh, placed in uh, uh, free access open resource, which you call as Alexis platform. And you can easily download uh, any needed information about uh, uh, all available DP training schemes. And uh, Concern to our training, here we allowed to train the people under the NI offshore training scheme. In that training scheme, we have 
next main phases A, B, C, D, E and uh, sending documents to London with uh, expectation time to receive your original DP and I uh, certificate. So phase A this is a DP induction course with online examination and uh, if you are successful with online examination then in the end of the course the training provider will issue the DP operator's logbook where you are going to keep all your training records. After phase A, trainee allowed to take phase B and this phase connected with a minimum of 60 DPC time days and completion of tax section on DP vessel of class 1, 2 or 3 and all your experience collected should be supported with a company confirmation letter or we call it company testimonial letter. Then, as soon as uh, phase B completed, you are allowed to take phase C. We call it as DP simulator course, where also you have uh, online examination. And optionally, you may take STR course, we call it C-time reduction. About that, uh, we will talk later. Phase D. 60 DP C-time days on DP vessel of class 1, 2 or 3. You have to complete after the phase C and of course all your experience must be confirmed by company testimonial letter. And then after phases A to D, trainee must complete the phase E and we know it as a statement of suitability uh, which signed by which signed off by master of last DP vessel. It means that inside of the training logbook you have a special page which must be completed by the master of the last DP vessel. And that master must give you some, let's say, evaluation on uh, this specific form. After that, all of you must complete the online DP application at Alexis platform and then by courier you have to send documents to the Nautical Institute office. Then in two weeks, Nautical Institute will send you back your DP ticket or during those two weeks will ask you some additional questions. if. Nautical Institute will be in doubt about any item connected with your training program. Next question what we are going to discuss uh, is how the Nautical Institute assesses and verifies documents which Prosperous DPO after completion of the training scheme uh, has uh, sent to their office. Normally, Nautical Institute assesses and verifies documents based on the criteria below. For the check, has DPO collected at least 120 DPC time days on the subject DP vessel of class 1, 2 or 3? Then Nautical Institute verifies that minimum of 60 DPC time days should be acquired on board of DP vessel class 2 and 3. Then Nautical Institute ensures that last 30 DPC time days were collected on board of DP vessel class 2 and 3. If all of those stated conditions are performed in full manner, the Nautical Institute during a two weeks period probably issues 
unlimited certificate for the applicant and send that certificate via courier to the address provided by the DPO. But if any item from the listed criteria is not performed, then the Nautical Institute issue the limited certificate to the applicant. And please ensure that you understand well that limited certificate may be updated to the unlimited one in case if you acquire 60 days on board of DP vessel class 2 or 3 and in case if you apply for that through the Alexis platform providing the needed testimonial letter for the last 60 days acquired. More details about training scheme you may find using the following link what you see at the screen of that presentation. Let's go there and check uh, how the guidance from Nautical Institute appears. All elements of the P-Training Scheme from Nautical Institute must be performed in full manner. And to prove that, uh, each prosperous DPO in, at the end of the induction course uh, issued uh, with dynamic positioning training logbook. Here you have uh, all needed items to be filled in during of the training scheme. The DP logbook contains a listing and explanation activities which are to be completed during on training scheme period. The recorded days are to be in accordance with the nine rules of a minimum of two hours per day. That means that to have opportunity to make an entry in your logbook, you must spent on DP on board of your DP vessel during your shift at least two hours per day. In other words, one DP day means at least two hours on duty on DP vessel when vessel on DP by you. And then after induction course allowed to make passive records. Totally you are allowed to make 25% from 120 days of records, which may be performed when the vessel is not actually staying on DP with running propulsion, having the DP activities. So generally in total 30 days after induction course allowed to record without being actually in DP when you are on board of your DP vessel. Logbook has the task section, which must be completed when on board and endorsed with the signature of an I qualified DPO on board and each section should be conformed by the actual master of your DP vessel. All records in the logbook must meet the guidance requirements provided at Alexis platform. And uh, we use this link what you see at the screen to follow there and to analyze how that guidance appears. Also, please remember, we have a different type and the colors of logbooks provided by Nautical Institute. Color and type depends on year of issue. But from 2015 all logbooks uh, are significantly increased by volume 
and looks like a diary with a separate page per separate uh, day. The old logbox has less volume and uh, right now is not applicable in training scheme. Okay, and right now I want to share with you with the next useful links. The link uh, for the Nile Access platform, the link for the Nautical Institute official website, and the link for our OMTC website where we have uh, the handout materials uh, which are downloadable, by the way for all our trainees. So your home task will be to download the handout materials including training manual from our official website. Also I'm going to use uh, the hot link uh, for Alexis platform to show you how to register at Alexis platform. I will do it fast and all of you tonight I have to repeat my experience making your individual Alexis platform registration and of course account. Without that registration you will be not able to pass the exam in the end of the course.